Alice, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another five random tips video that I do for beauty vloggers. I have a ton of videos in this series, so make sure you check out my playlist. I will link it down below in the description box for you guys. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alex, and I have this channel, Beauty Vlogger 101, which is a channel where I teach beauty vloggers and aspiring beauty vloggers anything that they need to know to improve their channel. I can help you guys pick out your YouTube channel name, I also have videos like backdrop reviews, these five random tips of videos, and then some other stuff like iMovie editing and whatnot. So I will link some down below for you guys to check out, but definitely make sure to check out all my other videos to see what will work for you or what will be helpful to you. I also do have another channel called Beauty Addict Next Door, which I will link down below for you guys as well, which is just your basic uh, beauty channel where I do makeup tutorials, hauls, reviews for you guys. So definitely go check out that channel as well. Another thing to know at the beginning of the video, I do put a little scrolling thing, which I'm going to insert right now, um, which tells you how many, uh, the subscriber count for this channel as well as my Beauty Addict Next Door channel. The reason why I do that is to show you guys where I'm at whenever I'm filming this video. So how many subscribers and followers do I have on YouTube at this time that I'm filming? So that way you guys can know, um, you know, where I'm at at the time that I'm filming it to base your decision on like, I don't know, obviously down the road when I have a lot more followers, I've been on YouTube even longer, you guys are going to trust my opinion even more just because, you know, people, you know, will base, people will trust more people who have more subscribers, more followers and have been on YouTube longer. Now, maybe you might think the opposite because, you know, they may be getting paid to say certain things, but I don't know. I just thought it would be helpful to let you guys know where I'm at in my YouTube career whenever I film each video, so that's why I include my subscriber counts on both of my channels below for you guys. So that's why whenever you see that, it's going to be there in every single video. Also, if you're wondering what lip combination I am wearing, I am wearing the Wet n Wild Think Pink lipstick. I think this is their matte lipstick. And then this one right here, this is the Anastasia Lip Gloss and Sunset Strip, which I put on top of it. So I really like this lip combination. I have a makeup tutorial up on my Beauty Addict Next Door channel. I just posted it on Wednesday. So definitely go check that out. I will have it linked down below for you guys. So now let's jump into the five random tips. Random tip number one is that you're going to want to increase the storage on your iPhone as well as your laptop whenever you get your next new iPhone or a laptop or just another, you know, um, I, it doesn't have to be an iPhone, whatever phone that you use. But I love using an iPhone and a Mac because they all connect. I love using Apple products because of that connection. So whenever I went to get my new iPhone, which I had the iPhone 5S I believe before and now I have the iPhone 6S and I have it in rose gold, what I did was I increased my storage because I, where do I have it at? I think it's like the max amount that you can have, but let me see. So I got the 128 gigabytes. So before I had 16 gigabytes with, but when you're on YouTube and you're on social media constantly and you have all these pictures that you're uploading, there's just no way. You are just going to be constantly bombarded by notifications from your phone saying your storage is almost up and then you won't be able to take any more pictures and it's super super annoying. So you want to make sure that you up your um, data storage as well. I would do the maximum amount. Some people just bumped it up to I think 32 or 36. Let me see. No, no, no. They got, they did away with I think the 32. They have the 64 now, which might be fine. But I was like, if it ends up not being fine, I'm going to be pissed because I don't have to wait like another two years to get the maximum gigabyte. So I just opted for the 128 gigabyte just because if there's any time, if there's anyone who needs that much storage on their phone, it's someone who's going to be working from their phone a lot, which YouTube is a lot of work and there's a lot of pictures. So definitely up your storage the next time that you get your phone. It's completely worth it. And the same thing with my laptop. Whenever I was going to get a new laptop, I made sure I got a computer that would, you know, have the best speed, have the most storage. Um, I, I kind of wish I had opted for this, but there was an additional $500 that you could put on there. If you spent, you would get even more storage. You get like a terabyte of storage. And I didn't do it just because I thought that was a little unnecessary. And it, it still is a little bit because there are ways that you can get around you getting those notifications on your computer, which I'm still learning. And I will do a video for you guys down the road on when that happens on how to get rid of that because your computer for some reason just makes like a million copies of everything that you're doing. And when you're making these videos that take up a lot of gigabytes, it happens quickly and often it gets really annoying. So I will do a video down the road on that. I'm just still learning on how to take care of it. But um, yeah, so it's important to increase your storage so that way you don't have to deal with the notifications. They don't slow you down. You can continue working on your work without having to deal with that. 
Random tip number two goes along with random tip number one, but whenever you decide to, you know, have a YouTube channel, you're going to want to have a lot of data on your phone as well and a lot of iCloud storage. So whenever I got my new phone, I also, you know, spent a lot more on the data and then even throughout the year, I've upped the data even more just because, you know, you're going to, you're not always going to be in Wi-Fi. You're going to want to be on your phone and I don't like getting the notifications like, oh my gosh, you only have this much of your data left. And it's really annoying and frustrating because then I have to try to, you know, keep it down. So I'm just like, I'm just going to go and get a bunch of data, even if it pays a lot more because I don't want to be stressed about trying to stay under a certain amount and be limited by that because it's so frustrating. Now, granted, not everyone's going to have that in their budget. But if you do have it in your budget, I would definitely increase your data plan because you don't, like, I barely have any time as it is, especially if you're a YouTuber who works a 9-to-5 job, you have one channel, multiple channels, you're going to want to be able to be on your phone whenever you want to be, and you don't want to feel like you're limited uh, because you, you know, like, I'm not going to spend 45 minutes of the bus staring out the window when I could be on social media commenting back to you guys, posting something, you know, I'd rather, you know, do that. So I upped my data plan, and I also increased my iCloud source, so I also wouldn't be getting iCloud notification so I would definitely do both of those things on your phone as well. Random tip number three is to go check out Madison Miller's channel. First of all she has an amazing channel. My only bummer is that it's not a cruelty free channel but she is a sweet girl. She has amazing videos, a very pretty background and the main reason why I'm bringing her up is because she started this new YouTube series on her channel called pretty much a YouTube uh, how to YouTube series. So she just posted a video on the best cameras to use on YouTube and she's going to be, by the time this video is up, she's probably already going to have her lenses video up where she's going to go over all four lenses that she has. So it's just really helpful. She also goes over networks, um, just basic ways to grow your channel and she has a bunch more videos down the road. So pretty much she's kind of doing my um, my channel but just in a series on her channel and she has I think around like 30,000 subscribers so she's someone to go to that's uh, a really good source to go to because she you know has more subscribers she has more experience in different areas that I have not gotten to yet particularly on the networks side uh, so she had a really good video on that and whatnot so I would definitely Sorry, my alarm's going off. But I would definitely go check out her channel. All of her videos have been really helpful even to me. Um, and I just really think you guys should go check her out because it's awesome that she's doing a series. Random tip number four is to try to get your followers to participate. The more they participate on your channel, on your social media, the more that they will get to know you, the more fun that they will have, the more of a connection that they will have for you, which will ultimately mean that they're going to stick around and that they are going to continue to comment and then, you know, help you and your channel grow. So I think it's really important to, have to try to get your followers to participate. Now to do that, it's usually just me asking questions. So recently on my Beauty Addict Next Door channel, I decided that at the beginning of every video, I'm going to be asking a random question uh, from my followers. So uh, one, one question that I just filmed was, what is your favorite type of lipstick? Or if there's any product that you could live without, like a product that you don't like, that you just never want to use, what is it? Like me, it was like lip palettes. I never want to use a lip palette. Like, that's silly. So just random um, questions, because my channel is a beauty channel, so I just ask random beauty questions to get to know my followers. And then a lot of people have been participating. You know, they've been commenting that way. And some people, you know, might watch a video and they have nothing to comment on. Well, if you ask a question, they're going to answer, the, hopefully they'll answer the question because if they had nothing to say before, they're like, oh, at least she asked this question, now I can give her my um, opinion, which a lot of people like to share their opinion because your followers' opinion, opinions matter too. It'll help you, it, it'll help your other followers who see those comments to see what they like, what they don't like. People can interact and be like, oh, I, I'm the same way, I like, I like matte lipsticks, I don't like creamy lipsticks, or vice versa, you know. So I think it's a great way to get everyone involved everyone to build a connection and to keep your followers around. Now as far as social media goes, you can ask random questions on there like, uh, here, like here are a bunch of swatches from the new ColourPop Ultra Satin Liquid Lipsticks, which one is your favorite? Which one did you purchase? I also have this thing where um, whenever I post makeup tutorials, you know, before that on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, I will post a picture of um, all of the makeup, just like the products, like not a picture of myself, like a picture of me, but a picture of all the products that I'm going to be using in the makeup tutorial, and I give a clue to you guys and let you guys know, um, like I give you a clue and you guys can guess what the makeup tutorial is going to be. So like for New Year's Eve, which was kind of an obvious one, but um, I showed a picture of all of my makeup and I my beauty clue was 10. 
nine, eight, seven, six. So like the countdown and then a happy new year, you know. So just, or like I did a Gwen Stefani tutorial and I was like B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Now granted it wasn't that song, but whenever I think B-A-N-A-N-A-S, I always think of Gwen Stefani. So I just put random little clues in there so you guys can kind of guess what my makeup tutorial is gonna, either going to be called, what it's going to look like. You know, you can, guys can guess based off the pic, the the clue that I have and the makeup that's in the picture. So, and that's just like another fun game to do too. So there are different ways that you guys can get your followers to participate, but I definitely think that asking questions and doing fun things and unique things on your um, channels will be really helpful. Random tip number five is to connect your social media to your YouTube channel. So whenever I do like a makeup haul, I try to show pictures on Instagram and Facebook. Now whenever I say, I'm gonna say Instagram, whenever I say Instagram, I also mean Facebook and Twitter. Um, just because uh, Twitter I can't really write as much on, but Instagram I can. But, uh, and I really like Instagram. <laughs> but anyway, so pretty much what I'll do is I will, you know, whenever I show products on my channel, I will show those products on my Instagram so you guys can see close-ups, you can see swatches, you can see what's coming up on my channel. Like it all connects. Like I'm not gonna just, you know, show you all Anastasia products on my channel and then never, you never see Anastasia products on my Instagram. Like I like it all to connect. And not only when, not only that, like it's really helpful for it to connect because then your followers are like, okay, I saw her video where she hauled this but now I get to see swatches. I get to see her first impression on Instagram. Uh, so that's really helpful. But in addition to that, you can also reference your videos. So for instance, I did a makeup tutorial. So before the makeup tutorial, I do my beauty clue. I say, hey, guess what's coming up in this video? Then I post a selfie saying, hey, I just posted this video, go check it out. I just posted a video on this makeup tutorial, go check it out on my channel. Then maybe a couple days later, I can do another selfie. I could do swatches of the eyeshadows that I use in my makeup tutorial. You can just find a way to connect it all. So, or like if you're doing the giveaway, you can do a, a close up on the giveaway product that you are showing. So, uh, right now, actually, on my Beauty Addict Next Door channel, I'm giving away an Anastasia World Traveler palette. It's going to end on April 6th. So, make sure you go check out that channel to see it. But on there, like, what I did, like what I'm going to be doing on my, I haven't done this, I might have done this yet by the time this is posted, but I'll have like a close up of my World Traveler palette um, and be like, hey guys, in case you didn't know, I have a giveaway going on. If you want to enter in this giveaway, go check out my YouTube channel video. It'll have all the rules in the description box. So it's a great way to reference your videos. You know, you post a picture, like I did a Anastasia lip gloss swatch video. So I posted a picture of all the lip glosses from the Anastasia, uh, what was it, the Lustrous set? It was our best eight selling lip glosses. So I was like, hey, here are these lip glosses. Go check out my channel. Here are these swatches. Go check out my channel. Check out the review. So it's a great way to connect everything, get people to go to your channel, uh, and then just keep up with people too as well. It's another avenue to um, keep up relationships with people. So definitely connect everything. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Let me know if you guys have any random tips that you guys would like to let me know down in the description box. That way we can all see and all learn. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Like this video if you've liked it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.